Welcome to Trail Recon. I'm Brad. We are Kara and Nate. What's up, Light Bright Nation? Hey, what's up, Light Bright Nation? Welcome to Trail Recon. I'm Brad. And today on this episode, we're going to do something a little different. I've spent the last couple days cleaning out my garage. Welcome to Trail Recon. I'm Brad. And on this episode of Coffee One Take, we take you into our garage that we've been cleaning all summer. And we're going to show you the Jeep parts that you may not need for your JK. The old Hologen JL taillights. You don't need those. You don't need that anymore. So you just never quite know when you're going to need a torch. When you're going to have to burn some vinyl off. Because I do like vinyl, but I'm not a NASCAR Overlander. And I just want you to know that. So these are my tools here. And I keep them in a very precise location. And, uh, get in here to our screwdrivers. <laughs> that, honest to God, that was not, <laughs> that was not planned. Somebody's been using my screwdrivers. Okay. Marco. All right, before we go inside and have Kara show you around the luxurious amenities, let me give you a tour around the outside of this beast. We have these military grade tires, and this is a Traeger grill. I'm not a big griller, but I think you pretty much just stick your meat in there, turn on an app, and your food turns out perfectly. Say you're here with like some friends, you take a shower, and you need to change. Pretend I just took a shower. Hi friends, I'm naked, hold on. Oh, here are all my clothes hanging in my closet. I see in the mirror that I look super cute, and I'm ready to party. Wow. There's several other drawers here, but my favorite one is this one. Oh, each utensil has its own perfect slot. All right, before we go inside and let Kara show you around the luxurious amenities, let's take you around the outside of this beast. Okay, let's talk about the non-militaryized tires on this thing. The tires are filled with air. I'm not sure what all these bolts are for, but I imagine you need a socket to get them off. They'll take you anywhere you want to go. They've always done a good job for us. All right, let's talk about one of my favorite things of this. The 240 cubic feet of storage space in the undercarriage of this beast. Another one of my favorite things is the strategically placed 1500 watt hair dryers. They're throughout the unit. So if you find yourself needing to dry your hair and you just want to catch the scenery, you can pretty much do it from anywhere. This unit's equipped with a Traeger grill. And the thing we really like about these Traeger grills, you just bring your meat out the door there, you throw it in the Traeger grill, you set it back in the compartment, and it never gets cooked. Close it down and head to your next campsite. Okay, so another awesome thing on this is the absolutely amazingly bright and super functional LED headlights that they supplied on this unit. This is one of our favorite things on the front of this beast. They're super bright and they blind all the oncoming traffic where they flash us often. So, let's take a look under the hood, and I want to show you a couple of really special things that are only included in this beast. <laughs> so, say your battery goes dead or you have another issue up under the hood of your unit. They strategically placed a Traeger grill right in here where you can have a barbecue while you're working on the unit. It's one of my favorite things. We've done this several times. Now also, they've strategically placed your blow dryer. So if you're out here and your hair's been getting wet from the rain, you can just use this thing right out in the rain. Not only that, if you ever need to defrost the outside of your windshield, you can defrost. Let's move on to the other side and check out the shower systems. And this is where we're gonna fill up our water tanks. They are 100 gallon storage. And you'll also notice they've strategically placed another 1500 watt blow dryer out here. That way, while you're filling your fresh water tanks, if your hair is still wet, you can continue to dry it. This is one of Kara's favorite features. Disappointingly so, 
The shower is mounted under the slide out. So if you want to take a shower, you got to lay down on the ground. But to blow dry your hair, you can stand up and fill the water tanks. Let's go inside and see what Kara thinks. You will not believe all the amenities inside of this awesome camper. All right, so my favorite part is this huge kitchen area. It's so awesome, and I love these luxurious countertops. They are linoleum, which is so easy to clean. Um, up here, we have all of our pots and pans stored perfectly and so organized. So everything you need is right here in one location. Spices are on the wall, unless you have one that's too big, and then they won't fit, so you just hide them in the corner there. All right, next, all of our storage for the kitchen. Down here we have one, two, three drawers and all perfectly organized. My favorite one, all spoons, forks, and knives fit perfectly into this one container and save you so much space. All right, moving over here to the dining room, we have a perfect area. This area is great if you are um, eating breakfast or if you're working on something and it even converts into a bed. I'm not sure how, but I know it does. Okay, moving back here to the bedroom and you have this huge, luxurious, queen-size bed. <laughs> I could totally sleep here. <laughs> All right, um, also includes a huge TV, which is great if you wanna watch Netflix or whatever. And the doors are designed so that if you're in the bathroom and you have friends over, you can just clip these two together and then you can get dressed without ever having to come out. Oh, friends, I'm naked, just a minute. <laughs> My mirror, and I'm ready to go, I look super cute, and I'm ready to party. Right inside here is our huge bathroom. This is one of my favorite parts of the camper. So, this is something I hope we can integrate into our van, this amazing, luxurious clothes rack. You can hang your clothes up here after you use them, or your towels, and they can dry so fast. Another blow dryer. So if you're in the bathroom and you just took a shower, you can blow dry your hair. It's awesome. Hey guys, so today we are finally giving you the tire review you've all been asking for. You'll see just how much siping these lugs have. I'm gonna have Kevin here take his handy dandy screwdriver to show you just how soft of a compound these things are. Look at that, so squishy. Yeah. So I've had soft tires in the past and typically what I've seen is that after a few heat cycles or maybe five to 10,000 miles, they will start to harden up. Now, although these are new tires and they're still this soft, we did show the new owners of the tires that we gave away for free at the Trail Hero event. They were still this soft. We were still messing with it. So as of yet, we haven't experienced any hardening in two sets of tires that we've had. Which brings us to our final point and everyone's favorite price point. Hey guys, today we're going to give you a review that you've all been asking for about the Maxxis Razor's 35 inch mud terrain tires. So Kevin and I have not had the chance to test these out in snow, but we have high hopes because we've tested them out in the rain and the sun and other things like that. And so far we've been really impressed. So with that being said, I do want to check and see how soft the tires are. And with softer tires, you will have to get them rotated more often. So keep that in mind about every 3,000 miles or something like that. More, okay. like 6,000. So maybe it's every 6,000 or 12,000. So I'm going to have Kevin take his handy dandy screwdriver here and show you just how soft the compound these things are. Look at that, so squishy. Yeah. And I'm not even pushing all that hard. So I've had these uh, soft compound tires in the past. And typically, after a few heat cycles, they'll start to harden up and show signs of a screwdriver being jabbed through them. And we just got back from our Trail Hero event where we... Uh, gave a set of tires away that had 112,000 miles on them and uh, the people that were on their way home had a blowout and they are super soft I could literally just sit here and stab them with a screwdriver all day I might just do that which brings us to our final point and everyone's favorite price point 
What's up you guys? Thank you for tuning in to Off-Road Recon. We hope you got a good laugh out of this video. We know we sure did making it. Stay tuned for more awesome, exciting videos. Please, Brad from Trail Recon, Carrie and Nate from Carrie and Nate, <laughs> and Kevin and Brittany from Lightbright, do not take offense to anything we did. It was all out of love for your channel. We love and enjoy all of your channels. Trail Recon, you've always been an inspiration and a great channel to us, giving us feedback, and Kevin, you've been great with helping me on things, and just the coolest, most down-to-earth people. Um, and Kara and Nate, uh, we haven't had that experience with you. You don't even reply to us on anything that we <laughs> send in. But we love your channel, and we love your personalities. And we watch their show, like, every week. Like it's a TV show. It's like a good yeah. thing to watch. We hope you see this. If you do, reach out. Let's shoot an episode down here, and we'll go off-roading or something. We'll show you what that van can really do. And until next time, just keep on trekking. <laughs> you <know>. I just, <laughs> I can't even say. I just <laughs> finished cleaning my garage. And then I look over there. As you can see, <laughs> today. <laughs> Trail Recon. I'm Brad. Would you quit <laughs> limping while I'm saying? We don't even have a script. You're just limping while I say. Just clean. <laughs> We're also gonna. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> I can't see it. The green garage is too clean. I like to keep my sockets down here on the ground where I can get to them very easily. And uh, you just never know when you're gonna need to use a socket. All right, before we go inside and we show you... <laughs> you have so much energy, it's so cute. It's not normal. All right, before we go inside... All right, before we go inside and Kara shows you the luxurious... Luxurious... Some amenities. <laughs> All right, before we go inside and Kara shows you the luxurious amenities... Luxurious amenities. All right, before we go inside and Kara shows you the luxurious amenities... The steps come in and out automatically. Like that. The screen door is all torn up. If I've been wearing my glasses the whole time. Yeah. Okay, where's my internet? Good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Why are you hiding in the bathroom? I, I didn't know if you were going to do anything here or not, so. <laughs> on the Milestar Patagonia MT 35 inch tires. Those are Maxxis Razors. On the Maxxis Razors 30, about the Milestar. Nope. Not Milestar. Maxxis Razor. Maxxis Razor. Is that right? <laughs> I feel like there's bugs hanging from this nasty there's hair. Not. Just go again. Okay. So we're going to go up here and look at some of the siphoning on these tires. What'd you think? I don't know what siphoning means, but. After about 10,000 miles, they start to harden up and show signs of a screwdriver being jammed through them. <laughs> they show signs of screwdrivers being crammed through the tires. <laughs> now, although these are new tires and they're still soft, they have several screwdriver puncture holes on them. One more time. Driving. Which brings us to our final point and everybody's favorite. Price point. Oh. <laughs> uh, you could be like Roman Atwood, or you could be one of the people we already dressed up as. Roman Atwood. You could just like hold the camera and vlog yourself talking. Hey guys, it's Ben with Offroad Recon here, and <sighs> I just love you guys so much. You've been so great to me and my family and inspiration. Halloween. For Halloween. It has nothing to do with Halloween. Let's dress we, up. We've been thinking about this for a while. You've been thinking about this and I've been trying to talk you out of it for a while. Okay. Probably like, more like no, it. people are going to get upset. No, it's not a good idea. <laughs> um, but above all, it was a lot of fun shooting this video. We had a good time doing it. 
maybe Brandy was a little uncomfortable at certain parts. Super uncomfortable, because my personality is not like either of theirs at all. <laughs> it was really uncomfortable. Yeah. So hopefully it doesn't come across as rude. Just know that it's out of a kind place. I'm just really, really Shy. reserved <laughs> and not good yeah. at that kind of personality. I'm not. So yeah, if you enjoy, really it, uh, I've got Brittany's personality. 